the RGB ever comes on. Ooh. Ah, anyway. I got nice little toys here. I make sure to make use of it. But we're here for this unit. I'm Roger from Shuttle. Hopefully you've seen my videos. I'll keep this introduction short. Anyway, I'm here. Same thing I always do. A little overview for you guys. This is the XH270. If you guys have seen my videos before, you've seen that I introduced an XH1NG, an XH110, 170. So we kept the same four factor. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, three liter chassis, various connectivity, and there's up to space for five hard drives. That's one of the key features. Five hard drives in total. And we've listened. There's a lot of complaints about the 110 and 81, if you're a shuttle veteran, that it wasn't exactly out of the box ready. What I mean by that is you need to buy additional accessories to get maximum hard drives. In this case, it's out of the box, ready to go. So, no need to purchase a Y cable or extra data cables. This is ready to go. So, let's go into the breakdown. Why would you want to buy this unit? Because you need mass storage. Lots of it. So, if you want to run a little NAS server or a little file, little file server, this would be a great little unit. And it's just a great little unit in general. You can do whatever you want. It's a computer, after all. XH270. Front I.O. here, got some USBs, 2.0 and 3.0, a power button, oh, so satisfying, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So if you plan on using a microphone or headphone, got you covered there. Let's flip this unit to the back. I do apologize if you see the, my head bent over because I don't have the I.O. memorized. So, DC in, that's where you put your uh, included power brick that comes in the accessory box that powers the entire unit. You got your display port, your HDMI, and your VGA. You get one of each, so no excuses, unless you have a really weird video out that I've never heard of before. So, triple display capability, so if you have one of each, you're covered. If you don't, get some, uh, get some adapters. Very easy. Clear CMOS button, so if you mess up in the BIOS and want to go back to default, or for troubleshooting purposes, bam. Stick a little paper clip in there or a screwdriver that's thin enough. It's just like a modem. If you guys reset a modem before, kind of the same idea. Dual LAN ports for all you networking gurus. You get two LAN ports. So Windows 7, if I recall correctly, there's teaming. Windows 10, no. Um, but I also know that some people like to connect to two dissimilar networks. So very good. Two LAN ports. Some more USBs. So keyboard, printers, etc., etc. USB devices go in there. And some more audio if you still need to hook up audio if you're not using headphones, speakers, microphone, etc., etc. There's a COM port for legacy devices, so like I said, thermal printers, scanners, or I know a lot of industrial equipment still uses serial, so if you want to hook this up, it's there for you. And you got your Kennington lock, so if you have this on retail, there's no fear of it being stolen. Although it's kind of hard to steal this, it's a kind of a very hefty system, very robust system. Let's take a look at the inside. So, two thumb screws. I've already undone all the screws for the sake of time. So, just pull this up and you get access to the cover. So, the first thing you see is the bracket. This bracket has been redesigned and it can accommodate four 2.5 inch drives. The thickness, I believe, will be 7.5 to 9 millimeters. The full technical specs will be in the link below. They'll be listed somewhere. But you can fit up to four 2.5 inch drives. There is a set of brackets in the accessory box that allow you to mount basically two and two. So there's a set of brackets in the accessory box, and here are all the SATA cables. There you go. See? No more need, no more Y cables, no more data cables. Basically, you got your four cables here. You plug them into the four drives, or if you only have one, two, or three, just plug them in, you're good to go. Let's see if I can get a better shot here. This is an already assembled system. In my case, this usually comes as a bare bone, so just because you see components here, do not, uh, do not mistake it for the fact that it is a bare bone. So, you get the chassis, the power adapter, but you don't get RAM, you don't get hard drive, and you don't get a processor. So, keep that in mind unless you buy a complete system from our online store. Is that okay? Yes? No? I'm not getting the thumb. Yes. 
Thank you. I'm talking to the camera guy, by the way. Anyway, DDR4 RAM, so 32 gigs uh, total, 16 by 16. Processor, LJ1151. So you can actually use both, Cabby Lake or Sky Lake, not Coffee Lake, guys. Do not make that mistake. Coffee Lake is LJ1151, but keep in mind you have to use 300 series chipsets. We will release 300 chipsets in the future. Stay tuned. Now, back to this unit. LJ1151, Sky Lake, Cabby Lake. You can choose whichever one you want, just keep in mind, Cabby Lake, Windows 10 only. Yes, there are some YouTube videos and there are people who have gone on Windows 7 to work on a Cabby Lake. If you want to go that route, fine, but it's at your own risk. Intel has only certified uh, Windows 7 drivers, I mean, uh, Windows 7 for Sky Lake, not Cabby Lake. So, if you want to beat your head against the wall, be my guest. So, Windows 10 Cabby Lake, Windows 7 Sky Lake, or you can use Windows 10 for Sky Lake as well. Ubuntu support. Ubuntu guys, you know the rule of thumb, the latest, the better. So the latest distro, the more chances you'll have of everything working out of the box. M.2, 2242, 2260, 2280, that is for your hard drives. So that's where the fifth drive comes in. One, two, three, four SATA connectors. M.2 is your fifth drive. And also there's an M.2 20 through 30, I don't think you'll catch it in there, but there's two punch outs here, bam and bam. So basically, if you want wireless connectivity, if you're not going to hook this up via the RJ45, the dual LANs, um, you can hook it up via wireless connection. So your M.2 2230 wireless card goes in there, some external antennas, you're good to go. One of the key selling points is, if you guys are shuttle veterans, you know the XH81 and the XH110 only supported, well, 110, no, apologize, 170, and the XH87, I misspoke. XH87 and the XH170 only supported RAID 0 and RAID 1. This supports RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 10. So you have the full spectrum of commonly used RAID on this little 3 liter chassis. So perfect for little makeshift servers, file servers, um, NAS, makeshift NASes, whatever you want to do. This unit can pretty much do it. And um, that's pretty much the breakdown, guys. Let me do a quick layout. Mm -hmm. No. So that's it. So five total drives, DDR4 memory, Cabby Lake and Sky Lake supported processors in here. No Coffee Lake, guys. And that's pretty much it, guys. A little nice, robust, very expandable three liter unit. So you guys know the drill. US.shuttle.com. If this isn't your cup of tea, you can look at our complete lineup there. Uh, you know, if you have uh, complaints, fan mail, etc., etc., services at us.shuttle.com, we look at those emails. Feel free to comment and subscribe. I don't know where the subscribe button is. I'm not a YouTuber, unfortunately. I guess this makes me a YouTuber. I don't know. So, subscribe button somewhere. Subscribe if you want to see. Uh, keep, uh, keep you guys posted in regards to the latest shuttle products. Uh, you could also visit us, our Instagram. God, I'm terrible at this social media game. Instagram, at Shuttle Labs. We have a Facebook page. You could see our behind the scenes and all that jazz. Or you could just look at our Facebook page for our products. So, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Feel free to uh, visit us all there. I'm Roger from Shuttle. And I can't get over this. Am I going to get games on this? Can I? Am I going to play on this? Because I am kind of want to play games. I mean, there's the Vive. I got the Gaming Nano. I got this... Can I say it? XH270R9? We'll get into that later. This might be one of the sneak peek units. But there's a little peek at our future gaming chassis. We'll get into that one day. I promise. I'm Roger from Shuttle. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.